SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the Into the Weekend with Bet DSI show, the show we do every week with Brent, the headlines manager at DSI Sportsbook. Right now we're looking ahead to um, college football week 15. Brent, thanks for being back with us. Good to be on, Peter. Okay, an interesting week, huh? You know, a lot of, uh, not that many games, but a lot of um, marquee games. So I'm assuming that all these games will all get big action and that, uh, you know, maybe it'll be less total volume than, than, than an average week uh, during the regular season, but that this will still be a pretty big week in terms of volume for college football, right? Yeah, the volume on like a per game basis will definitely be higher. way higher. Yeah. If you take a look at like the, the, you know, the tire day for a Saturday, it might be down a bit. But I mean, lots of people are going to play games maybe that they wouldn't normally. Of course, the Sharps aren't going to do that. They're only going right. to play what they would normally play. But yeah, we, you know, guys who would normally hang back and maybe not bet a Memphis, Connecticut game, they probably will. Right, right. Okay. Well, there's three games that I want to uh, ask, ask you specifically about. The first one is the most debated game and line of the week by far, at least in terms of the spread. And that's Ohio State, Michigan State, you know, Michigan State is a five or five and a half point uh, underdog and at SBR you know lots of people are making all kinds of arguments in favor of Ohio State in favor of Michigan State what's the action been like on this game yeah I mean the, the same thing actually is is what we see in the store here it's it's a really good game for us right now because the, the two sides seem to be so split on this mm -hmm. thing I mean I've got even sharps laying five with Ohio State taking plus five and a half with Michigan State wow my count slightly favors Michigan State my money slightly favors Ohio State but it's just a ton of volume and real good action. Even even the total. I mean, I've got bets over and under that basically bounce each other off. I'm off almost nothing right now, but a ton of volume on this game. So you've got significant sharp action on both sides. Yeah, guys who I respect a lot. I'm like I said, I look at you know there's about close to eight to ten guys here who we we look mm -hmm. at in terms of identifying sharp guys who might play this stuff. And I've got money both ways, both minus five and plus five and a half. And, and we're not talking about like five is a key number or anything like that. Right, right, right. And then the, the second game I want to ask you about could be the same way, although this line is different in that uh, the line has moved. Missouri Auburn, right? The SEC title game. Missouri was about uh, plus two early in the week. Now they're a favorite of minus one. And I'm assuming that that move had to have been caused by sharp action because I'm assuming the public action is split. I can't see the public overwhelmingly betting Missouri enough to uh, move that line, right? Yeah, you're correct. That was sharp money taking the plus two on Missouri. Uh, right now we've got Missouri minus one. The count slightly favors Missouri, but the money is probably two, close to three to one in favor of Missouri. And that's because uh, some big sharps came in on Missouri plus the two. All right, there you have it, sharp action on Missouri. And then the third game I want to ask about is Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Now, this one's an interesting one. This line uh, opened at about 11. It went down to 10, and it crossed over to 10, down to 9. Now it's back up to 10. And, uh, you know, I could, see, uh, I could see this, on the one hand, being a game where, you know, the Sharps took uh, Oklahoma plus 11 and Oklahoma State at minus 9. I could also see this as being, um, you know, a game where the Sharps were driving the Oklahoma action and the public came in overwhelmingly on Oklahoma State. So what's the... Uh, What's the action been like on this spread? Well, my money and my count is about two to one in favor of Oklahoma State right now. Mm -hmm. But I've got really sharp money on Oklahoma State, minus nine and a half. I even wow. took money line action, minus 350 on Oklahoma State. But again, when the line was as high as it was, I also took sharp money on Oklahoma plus the ten and a half. Okay. Now, more of the sharps are on Oklahoma State than on o Oklahoma, but it's like nine and a half and plus ten and a half. So it's, it's all about the numbers. So we're sitting at 10 right now. We're pretty much balanced since then. The count's probably about two to one in favor of Oklahoma money, or so Oklahoma State right. money's the same way. So um, I did take sharp money on the under 57 and a half. We're sitting at 57 right now, haven't moved a whole lot. But uh, our money is probably about two to one on the under as well. So we're going to be hoping for, uh, for, for an over game there because I got sharp money on the under and nothing really come back yet. All right, so then what drove the line down from, uh, I mean, that's a pretty significant move, right? From 11 onto 10 and then across 10 down to 9. Yeah, no, I mean, sometimes they just move a little bit too fast, I guess. Like, I mean, like I said, the, the sharp money that came plus 10.5, and, and then you go down to 10 and nothing came back the other way, you kind of, you know, sit back, you can balance off or see where the, the sharps might come the other way if they're going to, and they, they certainly did on Oklahoma State, minus 9.5. Right. Again, you're sitting in a situation where you can drive a lot of volume and the game doesn't land 10, you're okay. When you talk about the line, with you know, what caused it to go all the way down, Remember, like what I'm looking at here is what happens in this store. And if the board goes down to nine and a half, whether I take a bet or not, we're probably going to go down to nine and a half as well. Right. So again, speaking in house, what we saw here, there was nothing really that drove it here down to nine and a half. But as soon as it did, the sharps took Oklahoma State. All right. Well, I could ask you about every game uh, on the card this week, but uh, that's it for the specific games I want to get into. Now let's just take a look at uh, the rest of the card. What can you tell us about notable sharp action? I suspect that you will be able to tell us some uh, some sharp sides here, especially particularly when it comes to uh, totals. Um, sharp action that I've seen is uh, that South Alabama game 
uh, under 59 and a half was mm -hmm. pretty sharp. They're sitting down at 58 right now. There was sharp money on there. Uh, Marshall, sharps are all over the Marshall game. They were betting them uh, minus five. They're betting them money line minus 195. They bet them on the first half minus three. They bet them first half money line. There's crazy Marshall action there. So wow. the line went from five, uh, five all the way up to uh, six and a half where we are right now on that one. Uh, Missouri, we touched on already. And the game down at the bottom, uh, Utah State, Fresno State. I got sharp money on Utah State. Again, that was mm. sharps taking Utah State plus three. And the first half as well, Fresno State's down to two and a half now. And the only other total other than the Oklahoma, Oklahoma State under that I touched on was uh, Texas Baylor under. Mm. Um, that's a high volume game for us, but the total is very much one sided. Under 73 is where the sharp money came. We're at 71 right now. Thanks so much, Brent. Great information as always. Now let's move on to uh, NFL Week 14.